Hola, um, I just, full disclosure, I completely forgot that I filmed this whole day and it was such a good day. So this day actually happened before the last vlog that you saw. I don't think it makes a difference, but I just wanted to let you know in case there was some continuity issues. Um, but yeah, okay, enjoy today's video. And the next one on Wednesday will be of the weekend. <laughs> so anyway, okay, bye. Hey, baby. <laughs> I have a doctor's appointment today and I'm fasting for it, um, but I should not have made it so late in the day because it's for a CT scan for this quadrant over here and I have to drink, you know, whatever. They're trying to look into my innards so they need you to drink this stuff, but I think it's like an hour and a half process of me drinking the stuff. I could be wrong on that, but she's like, get here at 1245, you know, we'll do it at like two and I was like, that's <laughs> a long time <laughs> she's like yeah don't drink nothing except drink a lot <laughs> of water and she said gatorade or gatorade light and i was like i don't have either of those but i do have the little hydration packet so hopefully that's within that's within the code here i think i'm gonna go have a coffee with just no cream which i actually love coffee with no cream when i get it out um from somewhere that has good coffee and i just use usually a little bit of stevia but i don't like coffee with no cream in my house because while i have the fancy schmancy machines i do not have a regular coffee pot so i think i'm going to see where i keep the pour over one remember the pour over one after i went to panama in 2000 and was it 2018 they did we bought the geisha coffee the geisha coffee which is literally like um so good and they're like you gotta drink it black you gotta drink it black they make you the one cup of coffee you know you order your coffee whatever they make you the one cup of coffee right in front of you they pour it i don't think i have the clips of it because i think those are on my lost hard drive or my damaged hard drive but they like do it really slow really slow anyway it's called geisha coffee i want to say it's like 11 dollars for a cup of coffee and so i remember thinking like okay this has got to be amazing then because it's not, it's not like Starbucks or anything. It's like literally just black coffee in a cup. And it was so good that we ended up buying um, some bags of beans and stuff and gifting them to people. And I was like, okay, this is amazing. But all that to say that I came home with a bag of beans and I came home with one of those pour over things. Well, no, I ordered it from Amazon. I'm gonna be real with you. That's where it came from. Where is it? Anyway, I have to pee. That's what's going on in my life. I have another hour and 15 minutes, Lord. Please make this go quick. <laughs> Another hour and 15 minutes before I even go. Ugh, I've been awake for six hours. I just want to, just want, I don't know what I want. My whole day is thrown off because of this. I'm working. I worked out, I read, I did whatever. And girl, when I tell you these last two days of working out, and I didn't even work out yesterday. Today, forcing myself through it. I don't know what it is. There's, you know, it's ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows. But at least if I make myself do it, I think mentally it makes me feel better. I have not been tippity toppity shape lately. I'm gonna say that. So I think it does help that way, but. All right, let me go pee. Um, this is what I was talking about. This little thing where you just pour it over. I, I literally think it's called like pour over coffee, right? I was just rinsing it out right now. Um, Cause I found it, it was up there in there and then I got my step stool out. But you know what I just realized? That one, where am I gonna get the hot water? I guess I could boil it. That feels like so much effort. This already felt like a lot of effort. I think my machine will just make me an Americano. And is that not basically just a cup of coffee? It's just espresso and water. I mean, it's not gonna be the same as like a drip coffee, but, but I think it's gonna get the job done. <laughs> So I have like the digital version of the Breville, which means you can just kind of flip through and pick whatever. I don't know if, I've, I'm sure I've shown you guys this before, but we're, I think we're gonna do the Americano, a medium, and it's just like this and hot water, right? All right, the grinding is always so loud. Um, I don't know if this was like the best. I don't know the best grind. Do you know what I mean? Like the size and stuff. I know that one makes it smaller, one makes it more coarse, one makes it more fine, one makes it more coarse, and then one is a slower pour and one is a faster pour, but I guess I don't understand what's the difference. You know what I mean? Of like when it pours. 
All right, and I think with this, I think it just shoots out. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this little fella right here is just gonna shoot out the uh, hot water. I think that's how it works. So this should be, yep, easy peasy. I assume that's hot water. I will say this thing kicks on and is ready to go very quickly. I don't, I don't have anything to compare it to, but um, it's, it's very quick. Pretty sure coffee's gonna happen at some point. Probably towards the end. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I was cleaning, <laughs> I was cleaning the, the grounds that fell. This is a messy little fella, I will say that. I definitely have to clean this and I have to clean the machine very regularly. Otherwise I can imagine it would start to look pretty, pretty nasty over here. Okay, I have high hopes for this. Although I feel like it's gonna be really strong. But I think these are good beans that I have in here. I mean, I don't buy bad beans. <laughs> Not on purpose at least. Tell as old as time. Tell as old as time. We were talking about quinceaneras the other day uh, because two of the girls want to have one. One girl is my girl, one girl is my brother's girl. They want to have them. Their birthdays are really close together. And uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we had a real nice, long, deep conversation about them. Because for one of them, for my brother, his wife, she was like, you know, the first quinceaneras I ever went to were the ones for your family. Like, so, you know, she was already an adult. It's not like it was something that was going on between her and her front, friend group where she's from. Hotter than hot. Got a little burny. Got a little burny in my, my tongue. It's okay. I do like the taste of coffee, so I don't mind just drinking black coffee. But normally, I do like to jazz it up with a little cream. At the very least, cream. A little crema. Anyway, we've been watching that show. Do you guys remember? Did you ever watch it? The I think it's called My Sweet... No. Or like Me Sweet 15 or My Sweet 15 Quince or something like that. It, they show the the old season, which I think there was only one season. The guy's name was Alexis, and then he had a cousin named J Jordine. What was her name? J something with the J, I think. And then his wife. And they ran a quinta shop in Miami, and they were like a Cuban family, and they did all of these like quinceañeras. And I, I don't know if you guys remember the show. It came out in like 2015. 2016 I remember really liking it when it came out I mean I don't I, I, I loved shows like that for a very long time I like say yes to the dress and four weddings and my super sweet 16 and if you were gonna have a quinceanera show I was gonna watch the quinceanera show like I loved all that stuff I loved extreme couponing I loved I was a TLC girly okay I loved all that crap and um we just kind of rediscovered it and I had Nala watching it. And so, you know, it's all, it's very formulaic the way they do the episodes and the things that have to go wrong and the, ooh, we're gonna do the special photo shoots and the music videos and everybody's getting an exotic animal and you get a baby tiger and you get an alligator and you get a snake and whatever. So I don't know if you guys remember that show, but if you do, so do I. And anyway, quinceaneras have been a big talk around the family for the last, uh, I don't know, last few weeks. Of course, now we're thinking about Nala's. A lot of you guys have asked me over the years, like, do you think Nala's gonna have one? Nala would love to have one. Nala needs to act accordingly, permanently, not for a set amount of time, just permanently. And if you know, you know. You know, the children need to behave how the ch children should behave. And um, so, you know, part of it is on her. But yes, like generally the kids are, I, I do generally have pretty good kids. Uh, we have our issues or whatever, but assuming Nala does not take a turn and, you know, behaviorally turn into a whole different kind of person, more than likely she will have a quinceanera. Um, and we were like figuring out the math of it. Like, cause again, my brother's daughter, they're only uh, four and a half months apart. So they would be back to back pretty much. And my mom's turning 60 that year. And my brother's turning 40 that year, like the next year, and I was like, bruh, this is gonna be party central over here, okay? But anyway, we were talking about how much money you like to set aside or whatever for it, adjusting for inflation, adjusting for post uh, Roni inflation, which is like outrageous, you know, the scale of it is outrageous. So I'm sure me and my sister in law would probably get together for some planning because. Again, she's not super familiar with the whole thing, but her daughter wants one, and I'm I, I love it. I love the idea of it. I love I love it. Now we're not Catholic, so we would not go through the process that the Catholics would go through. Um, but I do still. I, I've been kind of kicking around ideas to still incorporate 
God and incorporate the overall idea of what a quinceanera is supposed to be, um, but just in a different way that doesn't necessarily involve the Catholic Church. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted. Or if you have any ideas, holler at your girl. Right now I've seen, you know what? I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give it away. I'm going to kick around some ideas. And then you let me know if you have any, any fun new traditions for the quinceanera girl. <laughs> Okay, lunch videos. Okay. <laughs> this is my own lunch. Yes, it is. Because I don't know what time we're going to get done there. And the kids uh, actually have a club today, which means that I need to pick them up. Um, and more than likely, I'll be going straight from the doctor's office to the school. I probably won't stop at the house. It would, it, it, it's not really, it doesn't really make sense if I'm going to be cutting it within like 20, 30 minutes of when I need to leave. So... I busted out my little Planet lunch box here. This is Planet box. This is a little one. I have the little, little ones obviously for the kids, you know, like when they were smaller. And then they do make these adult size ones where essentially they're deeper. So like if the kid one is this deep, the adult one is like this deep. And it just allows you to fit more food. Um, but this is what I'm going to take so that I can eat in between because I'll probably be hungry yeah, because I'm probably not going to come home till about 4 o'clock. So, like I said, I've been fasting, so, you know, I just didn't have anything. And not that I normally would have a ton, but usually a couple of eggs or something, you know. So, we're doing a little wrap, and this is just like a chicken, cheese, lettuce, onion, tomato, whatever. A bunch of cucumbers on the side of that. And then I'm going to do a cinnamon applesauce, no sugar added, and then a little guacamole dip thing from uh, Costco. And this... I don't know. I'll either eat it with a wrap or I'll eat it with the cucumbers or I might not eat it at all. But I do really like having these on hand. They're just super easy peasy. Um, and then I'm going to take a pack of these little veggie chips. This is like the, they're pretty small packs. Like there's not a whole lot in there. But um, this and then one of these little fruity raisin things if I want something sweet. I don't know that I'll eat these, but it certainly won't hurt to have them with us. And by us, I mean me and you. And then this is, <laughs> this is the top. This is, <laughs> this is what the kids picked out. This, I think, is kind of meant to be like an adult lunchbox, though. Because then you can slide a couple of napkins and maybe your silverware or something in the front. And then I'm just going to put a couple of ice packs in there. It is insulated. And then on the back, you could always put um, a drink. So, honestly, I might even take a drink. Oh, what's in here? Oh, look. And there's even something to carry it if you want to carry it, like, over your shoulder or something. Love it. Okay, let's pack it up. Boom, all packed up. Okay. We're leaving. <laughs> Look, it's all it's all bloated. I definitely can't fit a drink, but that's okay because I'm taking this, which I'll drink on the way, but I'm gonna have my Stanley in the car, so I'll have some water with me. This um it was fine. It 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 would have been better with cream. Okay, I just pulled up. I'm getting out now. I'm gonna take this book. Um I don't know if I told you guys I was reading this, but do I know you? This is by um husband and wife duo and I read their other book oh my bag is open I read their other book and I liked it I wasn't obsessed with it like the writing to me came off a little bit um pretentious and I don't know I kind of think that was also the point because I don't know the characters were kind of like pretentious but um I don't so I wasn't obsessed with it, but I will say I'm pretty far into this one and I do like it a lot more I have lots more thoughts, but I'll share them later Anyway, I'll probably be able to finish it because I only have like a hundred pages left and I have a feeling I'm gonna be in here for a while It's oh crap. I'm late. <laughs> it's 12 47. I gotta go. Oh, hey girl I'm back Didn't take that long. I guess It's two o'clock 159 159 definitely not that long I do actually have time to go home if I choose to. I have had to go pee three times in like the last 25 minutes. Go right before the CT I went pee. Um, and then right after it I went pee. And it it only takes five minutes. <laughs> oh, but they make you drink so much fluid, you know? And it was one of those hot not hot ones. <laughs> it was a hot CT girl. It was um it was an IV CT, like the IV contrast, however you say it. But you know, they put the contrast, I drank some, and then the other one they put through an IV. And um, it was the kind that makes you hot, you know what I mean? Like you can feel it, that grosses me out. Being able to hear stuff like spurting into your freaking veins, that oh, how to arrange them all. I don't like. This book is getting so good, I'm gonna pause it and rewind it a little bit. But um, 
No, that you know when it like goes in. If you if you've had it, <laughs> you know when it goes in and you start to feel it and kind of taste it in the back of your throat. Um, but then it immediately shoots down to your cooch. Wow, what an experience! And then straight to the butt. Just she's like, it's gonna feel like you have to pee. Have you ever had this? I was like. Yeah, I've had a CT before. She's like, everybody remembers the peeing. She's like, you're not actually gonna pee. I was like, ah, okay, thank you. I think hopefully I will not actually pee. But um, I didn't, and she, she had me all wrapped up in a warm little blankie. Oh, so cute. Sorry, right, I gotta text my best my best gal pal back but it made me think right because I'm over here reading this book I didn't get through it I wasn't in the waiting room as long as I thought I would be I think I'm like at like 250 and um, I'm reading this book you know and there's a little bit of there's a little, little steam in it not it's nothing crazy but it, it there's a little bit <laughs> it got me thinking though of those books that are like and then her you know her vagine was just so hot and da 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 and I was like now that now now that was hot Whatever I thought was hot ain't hot. That was hot. That was like straight to the cooch fire. Not fire in like a itchy, fiery way. Just fire in like a... <sighs> Sarah, what are you even talking about? Why are you telling people about fiery coochies? I'm gonna have to pee again in like 10 minutes. So a part of me thinks I should just probably go home. But another part of me is like, were there any errands you needed to run? Did I just go sit at a park and like have my lunch? Wouldn't that be adorable? That's literally something so outside of my norm. I would never do that. Should I go do that? If this was like California or something, we had something to look at, I would totally go do that. But I don't wanna just look at a parking lot. The vibes are not quite as good. They're okay, they're not quite as good. Well, I couldn't even get all the way home. I had to rush home. I had to pee so bad. Wasn't sure I was gonna make it, friends. I did. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you, God. All right, I just got some work stuff. Um, The wrap and the cucumbers with the avocado, that was like really good. <laughs> I already got the results from that. I got the results from that CT while I was still parked literally in the parking lot. <laughs> like, I don't know how to read it exactly, like what they're saying and if any of it means anything. I mean, I saw generally like it's not this and it's not this. It might be this and this, this is thick. <laughs> you said, what's thick? They said, your liver, bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh my uh you know what i don't know do we do you really need to know what the inside of my body looks like probably not all right let's rip and roar up out of here i think um i'm gonna go grab a coffee and then we'll go wait for the kitties at school they this is pretty much perfect timing i'll have just enough time to kind of sit there and just chill although yeah all right i'm gonna go grab a coffee at at scooters scooters i love when they say all right, you can scoot on up. Ah, shut up! I can do what? I can just go scoot, scoot. I can scoot on up. Shut up. That is the cutest thing ever when they say that. What? None of this is true. A novel was written by Lisa Jewell and read by Nicola Walker and Louise Brealey. Featuring performances from Jenny Walser, Aisha... Oh, okay. Um, we're about to scoot around at Scooters. I ended up placing a, a mobile order, but you gotta go up and tell them that you're here and then they make it. I don't know, I've never done that before. I'm not really a mobile order kind of girl. Um, I thought it would make it easier because I tend to be like, oh, could you do this and then this? Could you substitute that? And so I thought doing it on mobile would be easier for them because they're still kind of new. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I guess we'll see if it's any easier. But I just finished listening to None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. And I don't know if I rem if I said that this was her first book or if I wasn't sure, it's not her first book. And I think 100% I'm gonna pick up the next one because this one was a good old time. What do we even tell them? What do I tell them? I don't know what to say. I love their menu, it's so cute. Oh, that cookie looks so good. Hi, um, actually I have a, an order I placed for Sarah. Mobile order for Sarah? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Perfect, thanks. Sunglasses. Um oh my gosh, pumpkin spice cake by pumpkin pumpkin caramelicious. Their caramel stuff looks so good. But um red velvet birthday cake bite. I like it. They have cake pops, but there's are cake bites. 
so they're not pops like Starbucks. Oh, what I was gonna say though is that I ordered an iced latte uh, with a sugar-free vanilla syrup, almond milk, and a cold foam. Nine dollars and two cents for a medium. One of you said, who do they think they are, Starbucks? No, girl, they think they're better. <laughs> um, but I, I like it, it's so cute. Like, it's just this teeny tiny little drive-thru. That's all it is, like, I should have showed you the menu, my bad. But they have just this little, this little smiley, and then you just go around, you scoot on around. It's just drive-thru, so. Um, oh, and then there's like one of my favorite breakfast restaurants right there, it's called Southern Bells. Pancake House and Restaurant. It has to be this one though. This is the one in Yorkville. It has to be the one in Yorkville. I don't like the one in Plano nearly as much. Although I'm sure the menus are probably the same, if not very similar. Um, but yeah, okay, I, I need to hurry up. I gotta go get these. These children of mine, <laughs> gotta go get them. Oh, I wanna go through my CT scan too. I need to Google some stuff. Or maybe I should call my mom. Both would probably be just fine. <laughs> While I was at the window, um, the doctor called and, well not the doctor, somebody else, okay, and uh, listen, listen, okay, it, uh, they read off exactly what I already got inside of my, um, you know, you know, you have like your medical stuff you can reach or whatever, and they were literally reading word for word what I had pulled up on my phone. And then at the end of reading it, they said, uh, I couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. So um, the person said, <laughs> they said, um, not exactly sure what that means. I was like, okay, yeah, same Z's? Also don't know what that means. What, who, am I supposed to explain it? I don't understand. Anyway, then they're all like, oh, and then he wants to know if you have any urinary problems. Because essentially it was kind of inconclusive. They didn't really find anything um, that they could pinpoint as being, I, honestly, that's what I expected. I didn't expect them to be able to be like, it's your appendix, or you have a cyst, or it's the bladder, or the liver, or the, like I wasn't anticipating that in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, unless I push it, this is probably, the whole thing is a moot point. Um, and I'm just gonna keep kind of dealing with, you know, whatever I'm dealing with. But uh, yeah, she's like, do you have urinary problems? And then I'm sitting here like, do I have urinary problems? But she is loud as hell because it connected to my phone. And then the girl over here is like, um, is it a, was it a, a are you the flavored latte? And I'm like, mm-hmm. And then she's like, now is that like, do you have, are you peeing on yourself? Like, is it just incontinent? And I was like, ma'am, if you don't, <laughs> This is a HIPAA violation in some scooters. I'm pretty sure we just committed a HIPAA violation. I'm not entirely sure, but it felt like one. I felt violated. Um, anyway, yeah, it was essentially inconclusive. I have some thick walls in some different places. And don't worry, no large looping bowel obstructions. I don't even know what they were looking for, to be honest with you, but that was the information I got. So now that's the information you have. Do with it what you will. Uh, that's about it. So that felt like a huge waste of time. It's not like you can even check anything off, you know what I mean? Like, it just felt like a waste of time. But it is what it is, at least I went and tried. And you know, they have the imaging and whatever. If something were to be different in the future, I guess at least they have that to reference. Well, as you can see, we are at Target. I broke my, um, I broke mine, my little, the one with the lines on it and then I just saw this one so I'm gonna get it just because I really like it on my bookshelf hi girly my camera battery died and I wasn't planning on coming here but it is Target Circle week and I do have some good coupons and they do have some stuff on sale and so if I was gonna buy it anyway I might as well go buy it right now you know what I'm saying I feel like you do what is that a pour over coffee maker what are the chances this comes up twice in one day this one is so cute I assume you have to put a filter in this one. I don't think mine needs a filter. That's really cute. But the books are on sale too, as far as I know. And that includes cookbooks, which I have this one already. I am here with the kids, but they took off. Ooh, I want some nice um, stuff like this, but I want the Le Crusette, or however you say it, girl, don't. One of you is gonna let me know how to say it, so I'll wait for you to correct me, but. Oh, see, this kind of reminds me of the candles we were looking at at Walmart the other day. 
Mmm, that does smell pretty good. Salted honey, don't mind that. Mmm, autumn cider's okay. Nala took off, she's gonna go look at clothes. Jaden went to the games. So it's just me and you, girl. But I think I'm gonna get some new towels. I really need some new towels and a bath mat. Um, and I think they're 20% off, so it's like a good time to finally like bite the bullet and go get them because they've like kind of been on my mental list for a while, but I just, I'm like, nah, I don't feel like paying full price. And Target never really has sales on that kind of stuff, so now they do. <laughs> what do you guys think of this new Figment brand? Um, I like oh the my color. gosh, that was way heavier than I thought it was going to be. I, I almost like dropped it. Color. Really pretty, right? Yeah. 60 bucks. They have cute stuff. Kitchen towels. I like the branding. I'm digging it. Oh, what is this? Is this a board? Wait, what's under it though? Oh, it's a board with a lip. Okay. How much is this? Yeah, I don't say. $25? No, $30. Okay. Oh, is this a roasting pan? That's fun. I don't have fun stuff like that. And by fun, I mean things that like an adult would use, you know? Like my mom. <laughs> my mom's a more adultier adult. Oh, they're pretty though. Good prices too. Silicone pastry mat. Love these. Highly recommend having one. I have one from Ikea. <gasps> Look, they have gold ones. You know how much I like gold stuff? Or maybe you don't. Ten bucks. I definitely don't need a new one. A little tiny whisk. Oh, bowls. Okay, what do they rebrand though to do this? Because we all know that that's what they do. Um, like Good and Gather. What was that one before it was Good and Gather? It was called something else, and I totally forgot what it's called. But like, come on, this is not all new stuff. This is just new branding. What was this before? Threshold or something? I don't know. I don't remember. Don't get me wrong. I love new stuff. <laughs> so I'm not mad at you, Target. I love a good rebrand. Love it. I could probably use one. These are really pretty. These baking dish sets. These are really good prices too, honestly. Like this is like comparable to like what you would get at like home goods or something. Little ramekins. I am loving the colors. I like it. I know a lot of people hate the whole beige life. Like the fact that everything is so beige. And I really think this is a response to the fact that we were all raised with oh, they have pots and pans. Pots and pans. Ceramic coated. It's only a hundred bucks. It's giving caraway vibes. Um, but I think it's a response to all of us being raised. Well, like with houses in disarray. Not all of us, obviously, but many of us. So now we like just want the most simple of simple in terms of colors and what we have and da 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 we want it all to be as bland as humanly possible at least that's what i think couldn't tell you 100 percent um oh perfect that i'm in this aisle i need a water bottle that'll be thermal but still hold fit in my bike thing i have to pee again as you could imagine this is gonna be the story of my life today can i get through the store the reason I don't want to stop to go pee is because then it, this is going to force me out. It's going to force me to hurry the heck up and get out of here. But I don't really want that, do I? I think I'm going to find one in the bike aisle, not the water bottle aisle. Because these ones are just round. <sighs> I don't think they have... Oh, they do have a little bit of a sale. I was going to say, I don't think they have a sale on baskets. But I really want to put some baskets in the pantry. On the bottom, it's always a mess down there and I saw someone else do it and I've obviously I've seen people do it a million times but I never considered like oh this could be a good idea for you until like two weeks ago so just like a nice dang why are they so much I guess this one's okay it's on sale 25 down to 18.75 is this even the right one <laughs> how are you supposed to be able to tell they're all over the place and a nice little like 13 inch it's actually kind of small. No, but then I could probably do one, two, three. I could probably do three 13 inch baskets and still have room for other, you know, other bulk items that get thrown on the bottom. But this is really just for the bulk items. Oh, I have to pee so bad. I'm gonna have to find one of these kids and let them know that I gotta go to the bathroom. I mean, <laughs> mom, can I go? I just don't want them. I don't want them to look for me and not be able to find me. Oh, they only have one of the cute. No, they have three. Boom. All right, I'm gonna get three. If I don't like them, I'll just. I'll just bring them back. I'll bring them back. I like a month ago. 
Look, they have sets for the books now. Uh, by the time you guys see this video, unfortunately, Target Circle Week will be over. Hopefully, you took advantage of it because they've been adding so many. I know you want it, bud. You guys want a lot of stuff. I should give it to you because you want it? Mm -hmm. I liked one of these books. This one. I don't know if it's worth this whole set. I do. Oh, Lord. Why am I doing this? I am so sorry, Target employees. It's just so cool. They have so many, like, sets now. It's dope. Jaden's stressed. I'm watching my I know, friends because make I'm trying to make a proposition with mom that, like, she should give me Mortal Kombat with the pre-order bonuses for the normal price. And, uh... Yeah, Which is a price of what? 70 bucks. $70? Yes. Seventy nine ninety nine. dollars save up... No, $70. It's sixty nine ninety nine. And you have how much? 20 what a deal 25. you're asking me. I know, I'm gonna save up. <laughs> I'm gonna save up. Let me boom, boom, give money. Ooh, I like it. You give money. You give your money back. What are the chances you're gonna ask me a million times to give it to you before? I won't. Yeah, right. Were you supposed to do that with the Funko Pop that I wanted? I don't know. I don't remember, guys. I don't remember. You guys are stressing me out in my favorite aisle right now. I, I did actually do the weeds, so. In my was, favorite aisle? That was the. No, that was the deal. I would have to do the weed. In my favorite aisle. This is also happens to be like my second favorite aisle. What's your favorite aisle? Skirt aisle. <laughs> yes. So they just redid the, the book area and I'm looking at these books oh, okay. and, and me and Nala are agreeing. They're massive. They're massive. They moved the manga. So many of the books are, are just huge. Right. I have one but, book. Okay, even these. Because I was thinking about these because, um, what's her name? Larry, she was talking about these, right? And she was like, ooh, you got to read these. And I was all like, ooh. I mean, she didn't tell me that, but she put it in a video. And so now I'm like, low-key, like, ooh, I want to read these. But I'm, I'm looking at it like, why is this book so gigantic? Do you see? Do you see the difference? The normal size? Massive. Like, are, is the writing massive? I don't understand. Okay, what's the first one? Nala, can you Google this and tell me what the first one is? No, I don't think so. I don't think they put it in order. I've heard too many people say that this book is so good, so amazing. Oh my this gosh, is, I gotta buy it. And against my better judgment, I am picking up love theoretically, even though I really... It goes hooked. Okay, hooked. starts with hooked. Okay, if I like it, I'm gonna go to this bookstore in the city and buy the other ones. So, we'll see. Yeah. Bless you. But yeah, even though I didn't love the first... I don't really love Allie Hazelwood's writing, but someone said this one is great. So I'll give her another chance, even though I probably should not. Oh, I should pick up another one by What's-Her-Face. Who's... I just finished her book today. Damn, what was it called? Oh, I hate that. This was okay. This is the one I just finished. This is the normal cover. I had a special edition one. I'm not vibing with this cover. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's not my favorite. I'm not going to lie either. <laughs> not my favorite. It's like here. Dang, I can't. They got that book. I know. I like I like all of Emily Henry's books. This was actually my least favorite one. Is that where you have them all? Uh, that's why I have them all. Sorry, that's not really aggressive to not. Oh, the Kingmaker. I kind of want to get that one too. I've heard good things about this. Neon God, you have that, don't you? I do. Sure, I don't I have the third one in the series. Yeah, I thought you already put one in the cart. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not one to talk out of a book. What's up? I thought you had manga on the car. T. With a T. Yeah. No. There was, a, you didn't, there was no manga? No, there was. You can pick one if you want, if you're going to read it. Guys, where is, okay. See, this is like a good time to pick up the other Kitty Roberts books, but that's not the one. That's not the one I'm missing. That was one of the worst books I've ever read in my life. What? So bad. Like, made me, just angered me with how bad it was. At the end of the world? No, the luckiest girl alive. Like, literally the unluckiest person alive that is a person who reads that. Doll, Kids are cramping my style because I came to get the $25 off of $100 worth of toys so I could, like, get some Christmas stuff or some stuff for Nala's birthday. Um, but since they're with me, now I have to order it. What'd you get? Um, Jones soda and chips. Can I show them my outfit? Um, I feel like they've seen this one. They, they oh. probably have, but it's oh, I got one of the new flavors. James takes it away. Okay. What flavor is it? Orange. Orange and cream soda. 
And you can uh, still change in time. Well, one. in my time, I guess. I'm still after the bell. At PE. I know you were all wondering if you could change for PE, and the answer apparently is yes. There was a different one, I too. I also only had like 30 seconds, so. He's like a beast. I love these shoes that they have here now. I've been seeing so many people post about them. Oh, I was like, there's no way this is a nine. No, girl, it's a six. In my brain, I was like, dang, I would never fit those. And I'm a nine. Aren't they so pretty? They're literally so pretty. Like, I want to buy them because they're so pretty. But I don't need them. But also, like, they're so pretty. <laughs> and they're, you know, $40, but 30% off. Plus 5% off with your red card. Hmm? Not a bad price. We're over here looking for Jay. Um, they have a concert coming up, and he needs... I bought him a white top because I thought it was gonna be the same as elementary school and it is not. So he needs a black top, a black button up or something. I don't know. I don't know where he went actually. Let me know when you see him. Nope, that guy, that's a, that person has a beard. Not sure where he went. Could be getting distracted. He managed to get this added to the cart. Oh, and look, they sell the freaking Olipop Tropical Punch. They sell it in little little packs. I just did a round over. Didn't see anything? Yeah. Well, wow. guess what I did see? Pajamas? Oh, those are sick. What size are they? Large. XL? XL. No, that's really They're right there. To the right. Purple. You gonna get them? You guys asked where he got his cool, like, Kirby and Simpson stuff? It was uh, actually from Target this year. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's most of the time from like hot topic stuff. But yeah. yeah, but this year it's from Tarche. Dope. Dope. Alright. Put him in the cart, brother. That looks like it's a little dolly. Oh yeah, that's the one they were asking about. The purple one. Yeah. Yeah. That you one was from here. I've that had I had multiple people ask about that quick. one. I got a little distracted in there and I realized that I didn't save the offer for the clothes. So I bought sixty bucks worth of clothes, which was like Two shirts, pair of pants, three shirts and a pair of pants. So I would have what saved eighteen dollars, but I didn't save the offer, which was annoying. Um, so I'm gonna have to hop on customer service with them tonight. That's my fault. I was being dumb. So I did get this little water bottle, which I have a feeling they sell this exact brand at like Marshalls, and I probably got ripped off yeah, buying it. Drink. Do they? No. Normal price is $29, but I think it was on sale for $24 or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I want it for tomorrow morning, and I, I knew we weren't going to stop at Marshall's. And then I did get some books and stuff. Also, why are cards like... In my brain, a card should be $2, and they're never $2. So we got this cute little birthday card. It just says, happy, happier, happiest, I think. And the Kisiana, um color, I believe, is... Hey, hey, hey. Calm it down, you're gonna overflow. Only you can prevent overflows. Think about it. This is for the quinceanera, and I'm just gonna, you know, you give them cash, that's what you do. So, <laughs> that was actually funny. We were, when we were talking about quinceaneras the other day, um, we were talking about like, I was trying, I was telling my sister-in-law, I was like, yeah, you know, typically every family that's walking in or couple that's walking in, they're walking in with an envelope, and in that envelope should be some money, and generally speaking in our family we're not you're not doing less than about a hundred bucks when you're bringing your whole family and everything you know what i mean so um for us it's like you know minimum about 25 ahead depending on how well i'm doing at any given time in my life sometimes it's more but generally that's like our what we all as a family kind of agree to you know not that you have to agree with other people but like that's basically what we do um and so i was telling her that and i was like most people know that and she's like you know what is there a way to tell people that? Like that you bring cash or a check or whatever for the girl? <laughs> She's like, cause my family would not know that. And I was like, um, there probably is a way, right? Like on an invitation to kind of explain what kind of gift you would give. And typically at a quinceanera, if you're not, you know, supplying something, like if you're not a part of it, if you're not a padrino in any way, you're, you're, you're giving them cash. Not necessarily a hundred dollars, but you know, whatever you can afford to get basically um i don't know what that way to tell people that is like on an invite or whatever but i was like well we're gonna figure something out girl because we'll let them know 
Um, but here are the books that we got. So we got House of Miriam by JL. Is it just JL now? Or is there something behind the sticker? I think it's just JL. This is Let what... me show them. Let me talk about it, please. Hi, I'm here now. Um, I was looking at it and can you see? Yeah, probably. It's really, the front's really pretty. And I'm looking at the back and I'm like, what type of book is this? And it had reviews by somebody like Allie Hazelwood, which is a romance person, and then Karen M. McManus, which is a novel person. Now I love her. I love her. I have one of her books on. It got water damage, but I still love it. I've read it like four times. Got one of her books signed. Yeah. I don't know if you guys caught that. In but Alaska. I almost didn't get you. In Alaska, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. It yeah. Um, Nicola Yoon. Ooh. This is so pretty. Literally, this map. What is it? Oh my gosh! Oh wow, actually, that is really This pretty. is beautiful! Is this a Look special edition or something? This is so pretty! This is beautiful! Oh, that's oh my god! to discover that it's even See? prettier under the desk. See, this is how you get people to buy your books. I did not know anything, but um, I saw Oh, out. she's pretty too! Yeah! Okay, JL. Did you see her? No. This is the author. This? Okay. Wait. Um, haven't even read it, Wait. but I recommend you okay, read it. Because I've author. seen how cute. Like, look. Okay, why don't you read it and she'll report right. back. Yeah. So, I got this, which I thought would look really good downstairs, but also I flipped through it because I actually want it to be useful, you know what I mean? But I like that it was blue and gold, which is like the whole vibe I have downstairs in the basement. Um, the Art of Mixology. I like that every single drink has a photo and the recipes seem pretty simple. And it has all of your classics in it, but then it has a bunch of other stuff as well. So literally all of them have a photo of what it's supposed to look like. So I feel like this will do me well because I really don't know a lot about drinks, but I would love to become better as a bartender basically. Maybe I'll clip this out and I'll do these as a book haul. I'm going to clip out all of the over the top talking I just did. And I'm just gonna show you some of the books that I picked up. Kingmaker series by uh, Kennedy Ryan. I've read some of her stuff, I liked it. Hooked, which I think is a twisted tale retelling. This is by Emily McIntyre. The Seven Year Slip, which I've heard nothing but good things about, but they're living in like different timelines. The guy's living like seven years in the past. Say what, how's that gonna work out? I don't know. Ashley Paston, Pastor, Poston, I'm not sure. And then Love Theoretically by Atlee Hazelwood. Even though the first two I did not go gaga over, perhaps I will love this one. We shall see. What about my book? And then Jaden's book, Jujutsu Kaisen. Zero. Zero. He is a big fan of this particular manga. It is not a mature manga, so it is friendly ish to teens. It is rated teen, but it is not rated mature. So that's that's where I draw the line currently on mangas. Um, so a little bit of you know older kind of content, but nothing out of control. Right? I watched the movie. It's a movie? Mm -hmm. Now is putting her mouth it's over her hand. Huh? So something no, crazy just no. happened. Rip, roaring, good time. You just yeah, put it over there. Yeah. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This little corner of nonsense over here. Don't like it. Hate it. Hated it. Gonna use this instead. Hopefully. We'll see. All right. I'm done. I did it. Is it still crowded? Absolutely. It's mostly because of those two things right there, though. Because, like, if I didn't have those two gigantic boxes right now, then it would just be these. And theoretically, I could get a fourth one if I really wanted, but instead of doing that, as soon as those boxes are done, I'm gonna pop those over there, and then we'll just have a space next to the cat food, because that's what that is, that's the cat food. That gets pulled out every day. But I like this, some baking stuff, flour, etc. And then this has like some pasta, lard, onions, boba tea things, just random assortment. And then this has cookies and um, some treats, like, those little tahine uh, gummies, and then just some really yummy little cookies. And uh, that's all, folks. Making a fake KFC famous bowl at the crib. I was gonna get Chipotle, but that line was out of control. So I said pass, corn. I'd added onions, they don't do onions. And then I got some chicken, we got gravy, and then I'm gonna make mashed potatoes, and then put a little bit of queso on top. Anyway, then I'm gonna finish reading this book, cause it's good, and I wanna finish it. And that's the end of my night. So I'll see you guys later, bye.